Greetings everyone, 3D Hero here, and within today's video I will be covering the Elder Melder, her purpose, and how you can make good use of her for endgame. The Elder Melder is a locale NPC that allows you to trade in research points, de tickets, and decorations for materials you can use for your hunts, or for your general gear. Now at first you have two options made available for you, the Meld Items option and the Meld Decoration option, which you can get accustomed to very quickly, and then later on you'll unlock the first Withering Ritual, which will allow you to get, or should I say, try and get more decorations. So firstly, let me break it down to what each one of these options do for you. The Meld Items option will allow you to craft utilities ranging from certain Bowgun ammo, rare monster parts and item pouch utilities that you can use straight away without having to farm or craft these parts to begin with. Think of this as a trading option that allows you to skip the middleman and just get your items straight away, but you have to give something back for this to work. On the screen now you see melding points needed in the middle, and on the right you can see what items can be traded and how much points these give you. These items you see on the right are your items that you have collected through your journey, and each one give off a number of points that can be traded in for the selected amount of item you want. So say you want 1 max potion, this will cost you 30 melding points and 50 research points. You have two options of going about this, either pick an item that you have loads of and trade it that way, or pick an item that has a large amount of melon points and trade it in that way. It's generally pretty simple stuff. One thing to note though, you can get multiple versions of that same item by increasing the amount of melon points needed, and you can see here that the more items I trade in, the more the melon item I can get, but be warned as this can drain your research points very quickly if you decide to splash out. This goes the same for ammo types as well. However, for the monster materials, you'll need tickets to get a few of the items presented. For some of the lower tier materials, you only need a silver withering ticket, which you can get by doing the weekly bounties or by helping out the research committee out in the field. But I believe this is limited to one try per character. The gold tickets can only at the time be gotten from completing the weekly bounties, which is relatively easy to complete. This is more used for rare items such as gems, which have a very low chance of dropping after a quest every time you do an investigation or optional or just general mission based task. Next we have the Meld Decoration option that allows you to trade in your current decoration for some slightly higher tier decorations. Now like the same as the Meld Item option, here you'll be using your decorations and trading in the necessary points to get the select decoration you want. You won't be getting slot 2 or 3 decorations here though you will be getting slot 1 decorations, which are still generally powerful and very sought after, especially the defense and attack decorations, but don't expect anything bigger than that. As you can see, they do cost a whole lot more, so I suggest you think this through and look at what decorations you don't need, and can trade them before going ahead with this, as once it's done, there's no turning back. I recommend that you don't go ahead and splash out on these specific decorations unless you're building a set that needs a certain component from it, and you have terrible RNG. Personally for me, I rarely use it because I don't really need it and I've got plenty of tier 2 and tier 3 quests to do, but if you're someone that is having terrible luck and you have plenty of gems that you have no use of, then I guess this would be the better option for you to go ahead and try your luck at, since it's a guaranteed item that you will get at, at the end of the melding task. Lastly, we have the first weapon ritual that allows you to try your luck at getting better decorations that you may need or want to try and get. Now this method is the same as the male decorations options, however, it's broken down into three parts, where each part offers a certain variety level of gem. We have Spire Sorcery, which offers lower level 1 decorations, that are generally tier 1. We have Coral, that offer tier 2 decorations, and Strange, that offer tier 3 decorations. Now each of these options require the melding stones, which you can get by completing tempered investigations, and the higher level the investigation is, the higher chance you'll get that required stone. Now the methods are the same as before, but with a slight twist to them. You're trading items you don't want, meld them, and then generally pray you get the decoration you want. The ritual you do won't give you the decoration you want straight away, as it's all RNG based. And the higher the variety of the item is, the less likely you'll receive that item. So if you want that one critical eye gem or footing gem, then you need to trade in a lot of your gems and pray you'll get it. It's not a highly reliable system as you may never get the gem you want, but it's a okay addition that allows you to give it a try and see what your chances are if you have some spare gems that you want to trade in at best. Think of it like a slot machine at best. You may get lucky or you'll completely miss out and you'll keep spending and spending until you have nothing left. 
There is a method though called save scumming that allows you to, I guess, predict what decorations you could get through a few complicated steps. But I don't know much about it. Even when I read the documentation, I'm still relatively confused on it. So I'll leave the Reddit thread in the description box so you guys can go ahead and read it. And I'll also put a link up for Gadgen's video that talks about the decorations and the drop levels you can get, which may help you with getting better gems for your journey. And that generally comes to the end of the video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more. If not, then leave a dislike. I'll check back over the video and I'll see what I need to improve on in the nearby future. But once again, everyone, thank you for watching, and I do hope to see you all again soon.